Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at the, uh, the internal disk drive and how they can use either a real floppy disk or it can use SD card uh, and 1581 disk images. So if we come around and have a look, at the moment we actually have neither available because the Mega 65 is currently set to use an SD card disk image, but we don't have one set. But we can use Restore to hop into the, um, uh, the Freeze menu, and we can press D to choose a disk. We've got one disk image on here at the moment. So we can hit Enter, and that will now be uh, mounted. And now we can just type DIR, and we see it there. But you'll notice that the drive light came on, and the floppy drive itself actually still made noises because the default mode for the Mega 65 is that the real floppy drive that's in there follows what the SD card is doing. So you get that real feel of using a, a floppy disk. Uh, and so we could load that up if we wanted to, but I think uh, that makes sense as it is. So now if we go into the utility menu, or the configuration menu, so double shift, tap restore, choose configure Mega 65. If one to hop across here, so now we'll tell it instead of using SD card disk images to use the real floppy drive. Uh, so we can hit enter on that, F7 to save. And so now the disk, is dri uh, disk drive and the disk that's in there is actually being used. So we can see the, the delay as it loads each sector. We can go 64. And of course on a Commodore 65 or Mega 65 you don't need the comma 8 uh, or even the closing quote because the ROM uh, Commodore uh, changed the default device from 1 to 8. That's just a small thing, but it is kind of quite nice. So we could load, for example, shotgun. Again, just a colon because we don't need to do comma anything. And the disk drive makes the noises as we load. And there we are, it's loaded because the internal disk drive on a Commodore 65 does about two kilobytes a second without needing to have uh, any further assistance. And we can see that that's uh, loaded up quite nicely. So we can, yeah, uh, we can either use the, uh, the internal drive with an SD card and disk images, or as we've seen, we can actually use a, uh, uh, a real floppy disk. So you have both options, the new technology for when you want life easy, but you can use the, uh, the old when you want that real feeling. Okay, remember the future is 8-bit.